So Singapore, as part of their national curriculum, um, which by nation, it's, it's an island of five million people. So they have central control over all the schools, all the public schools at least. And they've had in there for a long time um, field trips as part of the history curriculum. Some of the people at the National Institute of Education, which is the main university that trains teachers, is trying to get them to think about it more from an inquiry perspective, getting them to think about how history is constructed at these sites. Well, for me, historic sites, monuments, um, sites of preservation, historical preservation is very important to me. And the way I see it, when students are taken on field trip, they're taken there so that the teacher have a day off or it's just a fun trip. But what do students really get out of that museum experience? How do they experience the past? In Virginia, um, although I think there's a big value seen in taking kids to historic sites because we have so many in Virginia. Um, most of the institutions doing the training for teachers and emphasizing these types of activities are the historic sites themselves or the museums themselves. Whereas in Singapore it's built into the curriculum and they actually have a course that all the teachers that go through and get trained to be history teachers take this class on um, basically field trips and doing field-based um, inquiry. They realize that education is their primary way to um, enhance their human resources. They don't have a lot of natural resources. So it's very important that they not just have test takers, but have people who can collaborate and be creative and be innovative and are really inquiry based. And yet they're still working not just within an education system, but within a culture that so strongly values predictability and this structure and the sort of rigidity about how things are done, that, yeah, the government, you're not really encouraged to speak out against the government. I think what they're trying to do is, is basically help students to recognize that when they go to a museum, that someone has made decisions about the way the story's going to be told there. Here in the U.S., we seem to keep wanting to model ourselves more and more after the Asian, school of, of Asian system of schooling. And in Asia, what they're doing is taking research from the U.S. and actually applying it, um, which we don't always do in terms of schools here in the U.S. From an American perspective, looking at it through American eyes could be looked at as kind of being um, a little bit, I hate to use the word brainwashing because I personally don't see it that way, but we just don't have anything like that in the States. There's nothing that I've ever experienced or can imagine that's so systematic in terms of wanting to really form the culture in this specific way, very planned out. In doing a lot of the teacher interviews in Singapore, I mean, some of the things they're coming, they're struggling with in trying to push this museum-based field trip inquiry um, is it's the same that American, I, I feel American teachers are facing also. They're trying to get students to enjoy these historical sites, um, but of course there's barriers standing in the way in terms of resources, manpower, logistics.